Hey guys, this is Jeff Present here, and uh, don't worry about this peculiar beginning. I just want to show you something quickly, and then we'll get straight into some Ace of Spades games. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pick some random game mode I've never played before, and me and you are going to experience how it works and what we do. But first, I want to show you this thing I found out literally five minutes ago, which probably been there for ages, but I just want to show you guys, is the new Steam thing. Steam's always been like this, you've got the library, the communities, all that kind of stuff. And I never saw this picture up here before, this big picture button. I've never seen it before. And I went to click uh, close earlier and I pressed this by accident. And what this does is something epic and something I'll definitely use a lot more when I'm thinking about coming on just for gaming. It basically turns your PC into, like, it turns it into like, its, uh, its own kind of OS. His own kind of operating system, and it makes it into some sort of like console-looking kind of thing. So you press the big picture, and then wow, this this cool ass little pixel effect and steam comes up, and it changes your PC into what looks like a console layout. And you got your little stuff going on up here, uh, downloads, and you can resume all, and you can go back, you can go on the web. So you got Google, Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Go back to Steam. Escape makes you go back. Then you got your store, which I think looks a lot better than the store that they normally have. You can go through this, weekend deals, all that kind of cool stuff. You got your library, it's got all your games, all your recent games. This sweet. And then if you click on your games, it's Ace of Spades. It tells you how long you've played, the last time you played. It's got your screenshots, it's got recent news, it's got achievements, and it's got links and more, which I just make. I think it makes gaming a much more nicer and fluid feel and I'm definitely going to use this a lot more when I think I'm just going to come on and do some gaming and so let's go ahead and get uh, straight into it. Okay guys, I'm going to pause it right there because if you're recording through the Steam console kind of layout thing and then open up Ace of Spades and play the game, it will not record the video which I only found out after half an hour of playing the goddamn game and I came back and there's a load of blank stuff. But I did play a game of, um, I played a game of um, Capture the Flag, which is just get the intel, like Team Fortress 2. And I really did not like it, and I'm going to show you some points why I didn't like it. So I had to play the goddamn game again, which pissed me off again, because I hate playing that game mode until they sort it out. The first thing is the guns. This SMG, whatever you want to call it, which I was using, I'll show you a clip now, it's where I come up behind a sniper, and I start shooting at him. And I, I can admit my aiming isn't the best, but I was aiming at him, and it took like it only registered like four hits, and I shot probably about fifteen of the whole clip. I shot the whole clip at him, and it only registered four hits. And I'll show you that on screen. And he, he didn't die, and I ended up dying. Another thing that takes goddamn too long to get down to the other end to get their intel, and then when you get there, the whole team's there waiting for you anyway. They just sat there all waiting for you with shotguns, snipers, SMGs, bombs. And this is, what is the point? It's waiting there. You have to get all this to the edge, and then you die, and you get all the way back to where you are. And it takes another 20 minutes to get to the other end. It's really irritating, especially when they dig the intel down. Not so it's not sat where it normally is. You have to go underneath the ground or up to get it. So irritating. And then when you do get the intel, the fastest way to get it to the other end is by uh, throwing it and using a jetpack. So I'd throw it, jetpack, throw it, jetpack, do that, and that still takes forever. And then by the time you get to the other end, you end up really dying anyway. Because they know exactly where you are. So it's waiting for you. You just die. And that irritates me so much. So this clip you're probably watching now is me getting it to the other end and then dying. Which I, I nearly rage quit. But luckily we got it and I finally uh, took the intel. But the game is so irritating in that aspect. It takes so long to do things. And once you do it, you can't do it. Because people are there stopping you. Which is okay if you're in a team that can help you out, but if you're by yourself, the game's going to frustrate you. So, recommendation is don't play that game if you're by yourself, that game mode, because it will piss you off. Unless you're against your noob team and you can just run back and forth getting their intel. But if they're half decent, they'll just fuck you up and it'll piss you off all day long. So, until they start sorting out, one, that gun. Because I haven't complained about it that much for a while, but that's, that's annoyed me. That little clip there. And also the mechanics of how long it takes to get back and forth and how easy it is to just get killed because they know exactly where you are. So this is my little <laughs> random rave little video I guess. And um, 
I'll upload some more videos, hopefully in actual commentary, once I actually sort out how to record <laughs> properly. See you guys there.